there is a lot of hype for this costume, and we haven't even seen it in action yet. What is going on Draw2 Crew? Ramni here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw the velocity suit from the upcoming PS4 game Marvel's Spider-Man. Right quick you guys if you're brand new to this channel welcome. Here I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from video games, movies, comic books, TV shows, etc. So if you guys like what you see, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you are notified anytime I upload a brand new video. One of my favorite artists working today is a guy named Addy Granov and he had a really good run in Iron Man. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think he's one of the main designers of the Iron Man costume or Iron Man suit from the first movie. So it was his designs, Addy Granov's designs, that they based the Iron Man uh, design from the movie off of. So he has a lot of influence and I'm very happy to say that he also created this velocity suit that you see right here. This to me is like a really cool mashup of the Spider-Man suit mixed with the Iron Man armor. If you were to put that together, this is what it would look like. So it's got like the classic red and blue elements, but the spider part reminds me of like the black suit spider which I think is a really cool callback to all of those costume designs. Anyway, I'm very excited to show you guys this video and I'm sure you guys are ready to draw here the tools that you're going to need for this tutorial. If you want more information about my art tools, I have a list that you can check out in the description of this video. Again, you guys, there are three things that you need to keep in mind as you're watching. If you're a subscriber, you already know the drill. If not, pause it now to read this list of things that you should know before you begin. Having said all of that, you guys, Let's get right to our Velocity Suit tutorial. All right, let's get started with our drawing. Uh, we're going to be drawing him full body, swinging, so we've got our paper in landscape mode. And I'm going to start kind of center and higher up. So I'm going to start by drawing a circle right around here. This is a good spot right here. A little more to the side. Now, as I'm drawing the circle, you notice that I've got my wrist locked. I'm not really moving my wrist. It's my arm that's doing the movement. And I find that that way it's a little bit more stable for me to, uh, you know, to keep things not wobbly like this. Okay, so there's the circle. Now I'm going to draw the center line. Now he's going to be looking down and to the right of our page. So there's the center line there. Here's one side of the face and then the other side is right here. And I'm just going to bring it to a chin here and there. So there's our Spider-Man egg-shaped head. Now this one isn't quite egg-shaped. If you guys follow along with my previous tutorials, I mentioned that uh, Spider-Man is generally drawn with like a rounder face. But this suit of armor kind of has a chin to it. So we're going to be drawing that chin. All right, there you go. Okay, so there's the head now. Right here is where I'm going to draw the back. And then here's going to be the shoulder. So there and there. So imagine this kind of line going through like this and like this. Okay, the shoulder is going to go. Okay, so here's the chin. Imagine the shoulder just going, making this U shape from the chin to kind of like above the ear here. And there you go. Okay, and along with that, kind of where the chin still is, I'm going to draw this diagonal line going like this, and that's going to be the uh, the chest, just like that. Okay, and then over here is the top of the chest, like this. Now, about the width of the head here, a little bit more. That's going to be the body, or that's going to be the side. And it all makes no sense right now, but you guys bear with me. Everything will make sense eventually, don't worry. So there's gonna be the side of the body right there. And then, okay, right here, just underneath the chin, right here, I'm gonna draw a line like this. So now those two are gonna be parallel. There you go, so that makes no sense right now, you guys, but be patient, everything will make sense soon. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw the shoulder so it's gonna look like this so what we're finally starting to see is spider-man is kind of slouching forward right and it still looks a little funny right now but we're gonna fix it okay 
here. This goes down. So now we're drawing the center of the torso. Here's the center of the torso right there. And then right here, I'm going to draw the rib cage just like this, just beneath the chest here. And here's the chest again, right? And then the rib cage is just underneath it. There. All right. Now I'm going to round this off. That's going to be the kind of the upper body is what that is right there. Okay. Now I just drew, drew a separate line right here. This is actually the chest line and this is the side. So there you go. There's our Spider-Man right there. Okay. This is going to be the crotch right here. So I'm just drawing this line. I'm actually going to draw it slanted more. And there you go. <clears throat> and what we're going to kind of draw right now is his legs going about this far. So we're going to draw it like this and then right here. Okay. So let's continue this line going down. That's the center. Now over here, draw like a little butt shape, not too prominent, but I mean, there is a butt there. <laughs> okay. And then just draw it this way. Okay. Now don't worry about how far this is right now. I think it's a little too far for me. I'm going to bring it closer in. What we're just going to try to figure out is how the legs go because we are going to be drawing the arm going above or in front of the leg going swinging this way. Okay. So, uh, right beneath the crotch, this is kind of where we want the hand to go. So let's draw the hand right now, actually. So here's a line and then down for the thumb and then like this. this curve for the knuckles and then like, like that. Okay. So here's the actual hand. And now what we're going to try to do is we're going to connect this hand to this shoulder right here. So you want to kind of guide your arms and shoulders and make sure that they're, you know, not too long and not too short. So <clears throat> for me, I'm finding that it does look a little too long, the forearm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it, bring the hand a little bit closer. And so you guys should kind of pay attention as well, where you're placing, where you're placing the forearm, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat today. So there you go. I'm finding it's a little too long. So I'm just going to shorten it just a tad. There you go. So I just made it slightly smaller, slightly shorter. And there. Okay. So there's our, there's our arm over or in front of this leg right here. And again, this is way too long. So I'm going to shorten it and I'm just going to leave it kind of up to here. And then the knee is going to be like this. That's where I want the knee to go. And then I want the sort of the rest of the leg to kind of go like this and then a foot over here. Okay. So roughing it out right now. Here's the grass gastroc muscle, gastroc meanness or something, I believe. There you go. So there's the calf right there, the big bump for the calf muscle. And then let's draw the foot. And so the foot is going to go up like this and down like this. And then we're going to actually draw the footprint. So draw a footprint like this. There you go. And so you want, you want a boot. You want to create this boot wrapping around that footprint like that. Okay. So here we go. That was a little bit tough. It might take you guys a little bit longer to do this step, but uh, yeah, pause the video, take your time, like pause it at this point and just sketch until you get this shape. Okay. I apologize for not going into too much detail on that. Otherwise uh, I would, if this video wasn't so long already. Okay. So now let's go over here. We have to draw a knee and I want the knee to kind of go up to this point here where the shoulder is. So I want the knee to be right there. Okay. 
okay so he's spread eagle and again you guys here's the there you go so you've got his leg spread wide open like that okay right around here is where I want the footprint so I'm going to draw the footprint like this and the way that I draw the footprint is just a U shape here okay and then one side continues going down and then the other side kind of goes in and then down and then wraps like this so that's how I draw footprint okay and then just imagine the foot wrapping around that here's the other foot here and now what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to erase that so you guys can see better so here's the footprint and now I'm just going to have kind of a, a leg okay like this like that so you get the right shape okay so you might need to adjust this footprint um, the way that you want You also want to make sure that this and this are roughly the same size. Okay, and there you go. So I've got a line from here going to the knee. And then this goes down to there. All right, there you go. There is our other foot. It might take you guys a little, uh, again, a little time to figure this out. But yes, just pause the video, you guys and uh, just follow along. Okay, above the knee is where I want the other hand to go. So I'm going to draw the wrist first. This is where I want my wrist. Maybe a little bit more this way. So there you go, there's, there's the wrist and I want this to go spread out. Okay, this rounds off like this and then this goes like this. Okay, there you go. So wrist two lines spreading out this goes like that and then this goes like this okay this is going to be the index finger and this is going to be the other index finger sorry <laughs> the pinky finger there's no other index finger on the right hand um the thumb now i'm completely confused with my fingers there you go the thumb is right there and then the other two Fingers we don't really get to see, but they sort of go down. And I'm just gonna draw it going out here and here. So you guys see that the, 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 the other two fingers are pointing downwards and they appear right here. Okay, now let's draw the forearm. Forearm's gonna go like this. Of course, it gets wider as you go, right? And then finally, we're going to reshape this shoulder. We're going to have the shoulder kind of point towards the forearm here. So there you go. And then lastly, that bicep there. And, and then the other part right there. Tricep, that's what it is. Okay, and then there you go. Here we are. Got our Spider-Man and looking down. There's our Spider-Man pose, you guys. Let me actually, I'm just going to readjust this a little bit. I want the chin to go down, pointing this way a little bit more. And that's okay. It doesn't change the pose or anything. Just readjusting the, the head slightly. But that's just my preference. You guys might not even need to. There you go. Okay, so there is our Spider-Man, you guys. Um, you can use this pose to draw the other comic, uh, the other Spider-Man costumes if you want, so you can stop here. You don't have to draw the Velocity suit at this point. This is for any Spider-Man pose uh, you can think of. So, or any Spider-Man costume you can think of. So if you wanna do, you know, 2099, Spider-Man Noir, um, Ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Man from the, um, from different dimensions from Spider-Verse, like Spider-UK. It all works for those Spider-Men. So um, there you go. There's the pose, you guys. Now let's 
zoom in and let's start working on the velocity suit. And we're going to zoom in on the face first and figure out how the how the lenses, the, the lenses are a little different. We're going to figure out how the lenses work with this suit. Okay, so here's our um, center line here. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of draw the eye line. This is where I want the eyes to go. So two lines here and here. This goes up. And this goes up like this. And now almost a straight line going this way and then straight line here going this way and a straight line going this way. So you guys notice that the these shapes are a little bit more straight. Okay, even this curve that we did initially, what we're going to need to do is we're going to find the center of that right here. Draw a line like that. Okay, I'm going to draw a line right here. And then there you go. So it sort of creates this weird shape, but that's exactly how it looks. Okay, and then same thing here, this goes out, this goes out this way, slightly goes up and then to the side. Now this is going to create, um, like the lens itself is gonna create like this bump that sticks out. So there you go, you guys can see that the Spider-Man eyes it's not flush against the face, it creates this curve along the side there. But there you go. So you want to try to get that as best as you can. And I'll show you what the reference photo that I'm using. This is by Adi Granov. He's the original artist. So you guys can see that it has this funny shape right there. Okay. And it's also got some funny lines going right through, uh, right through the costume. So let's, let's work on that. I'm going to first draw the um, outline the black outline so I'm just gonna thicken these sides and I'll do the same thing on this side so I'm just gonna make them a little bit thicker for this one don't make this line thick there you go now there's gonna be a line running through if you guys can kind of see it here very very tricky to draw so I'm going to draw an outline like this. So there's an outline inside the lens of the eyes. It looks like that. And then I do the same thing here. There you go. Gives him like these bug eyes. Not finished yet. Let's continue by drawing two lines going in like this on that side, but you don't really see it on this side. Okay, and then now we're going to draw from there. I'm just going to draw one line going this way, changes directions and goes that. So now I'm going to draw this line going through right here. All right, so now let's kind of draw the rest of the rest of the face. So it looks, it looks it looks like bug eyes. It really does. Okay. The nose is going to have these one, two lines like this, kind of like Black Panther, and then line going across like that. Okay. The corners right here, they go to the side. Okay. And then right here, the top this goes up. I'm going to draw a line sort of follows follows the top here and follows the top over here and then parallel to that line parallel to this line here okay and over here you don't see much of it there you go now there's a cheek line so let's draw the cheek or this line right here kind of goes further out like that and then find a spot just below the there's this corner here, just below that right here. There you go. So kind of makes a cheekbone. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to draw the chin line. Here's a chin. It goes across like this. Okay. 
from here, I'm going to draw a line to there. There you go. And then this cheek line actually goes, or this chin line goes along the jaw as well. So it just goes slightly higher up over here. Okay. Now, remember what I said, this kind of does have a more squarish jaw. So the jaw is a little bit more straight than you would draw the average Spider-Man head. Okay, there you go. And right here, I'm just going to draw a slight zigzag right there and then to the chin. There you go. It looks uh, looks a little funny, but that's, that's, that's the way it looks on paper, you guys. So there you go. Now let's zoom out and let's do the torso. And if you guys can see, so this is what we drew right here, right? And you got that line going down the middle here. Um, what we can do is we can make this a little darker. So let's shade the bottom part of the, the eye there. Just like this one is kind of shaded underneath. All right, so that's, that's good. So now let's draw this part, but this part is going to be shrunken down like contorted you don't see a lot of it because of the way that he's angled so let's uh reshape that torso let's make sure that that torso is just right and for us to start figuring out where things go all right so now spider emblem and then you got the glowing spider legs so let's figure out the spider emblem first and it's going to be mid mid chest almost a rectangle going down like this okay and then kind of two lines going down this way down the torso actually i'm going to bring that all the way down like this all right so there's our There's our spider body. The spider body itself is going to be just right here. And then a little bit of it is going to come out here. So that's the bottom part of the spider body. And then just two lines going straight down like that. Okay. Now we're going to draw the armor plating for the chest. So I'm going to make this a V right here. This is going to be like I don't know what it is. It's kind of just above the spider and I'm just going to drop lines going across it. And then this is going to be one armor plating right here. So where the shoulder goes, this goes straight and then angled. So one, two, three lines there. And then here at the bottom, simplified, just going to be one and then curve. Just like that okay and then right here we do the same thing so here's the curve there and then here's the body part there so here's our two chests right there now we're going to draw the legs kind of going on the chest so let's make sure that we got those chest shapes right okay so start with the body this goes two across like this and then this goes up to this point here. Okay. And then across. So underneath it, a second line going up again. So you notice that here it's thin and here it gets a little bit wider. That goes across like this. And then like that. This is the part, this kind of goes to the arm. So this leg, spider leg, we're gonna run it so that it sort of goes to the arm like that, okay? Now beneath that, we're gonna draw to a point here. 
down. Okay, from here, this goes into the spider body. Okay, so this is the second leg. Let's draw the bottom part of that second leg right here on the chest still. Down into the body like this. Okay, there you go. Let's do the same thing on the other side. This is where it's really, it really pays to have a sharp pencils. And feel, so feel free to grab a sharp pencil if you guys haven't already. So this goes up and then I'm gonna make it go down like that. All right, so this second leg goes along the side right here. So you guys can see that second leg goes along the side here. So let's do that. So here is our side. We're gonna make this one go down and it sort of gets thinner. And then along the rib cage line, here's our rib cage. It goes to the back like that. So you guys can see that this, this right here, here's the spider body, here's the second leg. It's thinner and then it goes to the back. All right, so now the third one, we don't see much of it really. So I'm going to run along here, this side. So it's kind of, it almost is pretty much the, where the chest, where we have the chest line here. That's where I've got that third leg. Okay. And then it spikes up a little bit here, a little bit right there. And then this one goes down to the leg. So here's our, I'm going to draw, sorry, let's, reposition this so you guys can see it a little better okay so i drew these these are going to be kind of like the crotch line right um this third leg as you guys can see over here this third leg goes down to the leg right there and so does the fourth leg of the spider okay so it goes down and it goes along here so two lines and it sort of goes on the other side of Spider-Man's leg there. Okay, and then I draw the fourth one. You don't really see the leg of the fourth one because, because of the way that he's slouching forward. So the fourth leg is gonna go down like that. Actually, it goes this way and then into the leg like this. Okay, and then I do the same thing over here. So we've got you want to make sure that they're similar. Okay, and then there. So that's pretty much all that we have for the for the torso, you guys. I'm gonna draw this torso or the rib cage line just going across like this. Other than that, you're pretty much finished with the torso. I know it looks a little bit confusing, um, but if you ink it and erase those, uh, those thick lines, if you make your lines consistent, it'll start to look a little bit better. Okay, so before we actually go, we do have to um, create the this right here. So I'm gonna close this off right here. So. There's these two lines that close off there. And then I'm gonna draw another line going across right here. And this just goes like that. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing actually a second time right there. And then this part, I'm just going to not draw the underwear line. There you go. Okay, so let's go back to the shoulder um, because there is a divide right here, the shoulder plate and like right here. So there's that, so it's a pretty wide gap. I'm gonna draw lines across. It's dark in color and it's just a division between the shoulder plate and the back plate or the this plating. Okay, speaking of this plating, let's draw a couple of neck lines that goes like this. And then this goes across like that. 
and then a couple of necklines going down with this one, two, three, just three lines. There you go. And the shoulder is going to be its own separate piece. Point right here where the bicep is. There you go. So there's our shoulder right there. Okay, and then we've got this elegant curve from here and it sort of goes to this line right here. So that's where that goes. And then the front of it is going to be kind of right here. So it looks like that. And then just a bit of a edge to it. A line right there. Okay, so now let's do the same thing on this side. So let's draw the point. Here's the point first. Okay, and then this goes like that. Okay, and then here's that elegant curve that I was talking about. It starts here, actually starts right here. It goes like this. And you know what, we'll leave it like that. That's all we really need to draw on that side. Okay, so now I guess what we can do is we can do the arms. Let's start with this one first. Let's get the entire arm in there. All right, so we've got our bicep. What I'm actually going to do is, you notice that this arm should be sideways, so the bicep should be sideways. So the bicep should look like this, okay? And then the tricep is right here. Now what we're going to do is, we're, we are going to find this right here. We're gonna divide the forearm, and I'm gonna bring it down like this. So the forearm itself is a separate armor plating, and then the bicep along with the elbow and the tricep is its own separate thing as well, okay? So here we've got some glowing, okay, remember we've got the glowing um, spider foot goes up, runs along the side here like this, okay? So this is what I'm trying to draw right here, glowing spider foot, so it goes like that, okay? So here's our first foot right here, and then just imagine it kind of going under the chin and it shows up again here. Okay, and then on this side, we do the same thing. Actually, just bring this down like that. Okay, and then like that. All right, so there's our spider arm, spider bicep. And then over here, now we've got like that goes like this. So imagine it going across, but it stops right here because this goes from here up the side like that. All right, now there's a lot of detail in the armor here. Um, so let's, let's kind of figure that out first. So here, you kind of draw the wrist Okay, that goes like that. And then here we gotta try to figure out where the finger, where the knuckles go because the, there are like these lines from here up to the knuckles, okay? And also there's this part right here. So let's draw that as well. Okay, so it goes from here. It goes in between the thumb and the index finger. So here's that. So that's what that looks like. I'm just going to erase it. There you go. And you know what? Just to simplify it, I'm just going to draw draw the knuckles already. So here, uh, I've created this bump right here. So one, two, three, four. So I created four bumps that represent each knuckle. And each knuckle is just going to have like this line one, two, three. I'm just gonna keep it like that. Just these three lines that run along all the way to the knuckles. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's a, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but um, 
yeah, I might even just leave it out just to keep it simple. All right, so now you guys, let's draw the spider webbing. Let me zoom out slightly. And this spider webbing, I'm just going to draw from here, going to the corner here. So there you go. And then spaghetti webs is made popular by Todd McFarlane. So just create like the some loose thread, loose web, kind of wrapping around the spider webbing itself. There you go. And then you guys can create like intricate like ropes right here. There you go. Maybe two loops around and then just zigzaggy around it. So there you go. Just these loops around and then this is where it ends right here. There is our spider Spider-Man swinging. And there you go. So let's continue, guys. We still have uh, quite a bit more to go. Let's work with this other arm now. And again, this other arm is going to be divided. I'm going to make it go like this. I'm going to grab another pencil. At least try to keep these things sharp. And I apologize for these eraser marks. Erase, eraser residue. Okay, so there you go. There's our forearm right there. And then here's our bicep. Okay, one, two lines there. Okay, and then here, like that, and then this goes like that to the back. Okay, here's our wrist right here. Remember there's this division and then bring this one up to the side. Okay. And then of course over here between the thumb and the index finger, we've got this little thing going on. And then right here, just several lines going one, two, there you go it looks i apologize it's it just doesn't look i don't i don't like those lines i might actually skip them when i ink there you go and then i uh, forgot to mention let's draw a straight line here and then on this side here at the bottom as well straight line from here sorry not from here from here let's just make it go all the way up like that So zooming out, this is what it looks like right now. So far, so good. Now we just got to work on the legs, and the legs are a little bit, uh, a little bit of uh, some details in there as well. So let's start with this one right here. I'm going to start by finding the center of the of the shin here, and then kind of find the where the kneecap would end right here. I'm simplifying it. There's a, there should be a lot more lines than than this, but there's the kneecap right here. So I created this two lines like that. Okay, and then line right here. So there is the kneecap armor, I guess you could say. And then here on this side, parallel to the to the top line, and then it goes down, and then it goes back out like this. So where this bump is. The gastroc muscle it sort of just goes in here down and then out that way okay he does have a red part of the armor going along here and it sticks out slightly like that back down there you go okay so now the actual bottom of the foot line going down the center looks like tire marks outline this so outline the footprint so got two lines let me fix this part there 
we go. Okay, and then a bunch of V's. Make it look like a leaf. There. Okay, now the thigh itself. Nothing too fancy. We're going to simplify this one. Okay, right here. One, two, and then one, two. So it's like these V shapes. Okay, and then right here, it goes like this, and then diagonal, and then from here to there. Okay, and that's, that's pretty much it. You can double up on that line, actually, and then we're good. That's as simple as it's gonna get. Just going to, oh, there's a red part right here at the bottom of, or at the heel of the foot. So this goes this way. And then right along here is where the, where the ankle should be. There you go. So there's a red part of the foot there. Okay, so there's one side, just complete it. Draw it nicely. Okay, and now let's do the other side here. We've got, again, we've got this two lines there. Okay, and then we've got line from here going out like that so here's our actual foot so here the way I drew it this right here is the same as this line here okay let's continue here's the armor plating for the for the kneecap and I'm gonna make the kneecap stick out a little bit more here this goes like this and then down and then this goes actually like this and then runs alongside the top there there you go I'm gonna make this a little bit make it stick out a little bit more okay there you go so there's there's that end now here's the Isolating the calf muscle here, there, just like we did in the other foot. Okay, and then here we've got the heel separated from the rest for the Achilles tendon. Okay, and then here, remember, on this side we have a little bit of the armor sticking out. Okay, right there. And then lastly, what we're going to do is the bottom of the foot, double up on those lines, draw a line going down the center, and then just draw these tire treads or leaf, leaf pattern. There you go. And then darken those lines. Finish up, zoom out, and clean off those eraser lines. And there you go, you guys. There is our drawing of Spider-Man Velocity Suit from the PS4 game that is coming up. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know what your favorite Spider-Man suit is in the comment section below. I hope you guys are successful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings 
turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out there. I have a list of the pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, like this video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe. All of that in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here. Links again in the description. So always make sure to read that description, you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. And till then, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.